Hey guys, Zach with Zach's Muscle Motors. Thanks for joining me for another episode of Tech Talk today. I'm going to show you how to reinstall those core plugs back into your block. So let's jump over here and get busy. Okay guys, so in order to do your new core plugs, what you're going to need is obviously a new core plug. You can go to any machine shop, you can go to your favorite parts store, or you can go to Jegs, Summit, uh, Speedway Motors, whatever, and you can order these for your motor. These things are cheap, and odds are you've probably already got them. You're going to need that. One major thing is you want to make sure that your core plug hole here is clean. This inner surface where that plug is going to sit is debris free. You don't have a bunch of, of rust and I hope you don't have too much rust on there because it means you've had an issue before but hopefully it's good smooth clean metal make sure you take a, like a wire wheel on the inside of that just brush it up a little bit uh, you're not trying to take material off you just want to clean it up so make sure that that's nice and clean. The next thing you're going to need and there's a lot of suggestions out here and I'm just telling you what I use from personal experience is Indian Head by Permatex. Okay, this stuff works really good for a lot of stuff. I think this has a, a heat point to like 350 degrees, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but this is water uh, safe. It doesn't uh, break down with water, steam, so it'll handle heat and stuff. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. Basically, what you're going to do here, I should also say you want to use, they have installer tools for these. But one thing you can do is just use a socket that fits to the outside of your core plug. You don't want to go to the inside of it. You want to go to the outside edge of it. Now this is an OEM socket tool. It's a 30 millimeter and this fits good for the 1 and 5 8 stuff for the small block Chevy. So basically ensuring that you have everything clean, you want to take your India head. You can use other different kinds of sealants. There's other sealants you can use. I'm just telling you this is what I've used. My dad's used it for years. I've used it quite a bit. Never had an issue. You want to apply it pretty thick. You want to be uh, pretty generous with it. You don't want to you don't want to hold back. Now one thing you want to make sure you're going to do is if you're replacing this into a block that's in the car and you're going to run in a while um, I'd say let it sit for a couple days. I know it sounds extreme, but you want to give this stuff a chance to dry. Um, because if you don't, you fire it up, the heat will cause it to kind of bubble and, and stay liquid and it, it will start to leak and then you're going to have an issue. So what you're going to do is after you get that in, take your core plug, put your concave side going in, line it up, get it set right where you want it. Sometimes it's easier said than done. Get your socket or your tool if you've got one and just use a mallet. You may have to use a bigger mallet. I'm using a small one here just to kind of get started. Okay, so I got it started. I'm going to grab a bigger mallet. I should have had this out, but hey. We all make mistakes. I'm actually going to do this, and some of you guys might really tear me up about it, but use metal on it. Metal's going to shock it, make it go in easier than what using a dead blow will.
Okay, now that's in. You want to get it to sit. Just there's there's a bit of a ridge right here, and you want it to get to sit just inside that ridge where it's kind of flush with the flat side of the, or the the flat face of that ridge. So that's pretty much it. Once you hammer it in, you get it to sit down. It's going to go all in all below the bottom of the casting about a eh, not quite a quarter of an inch, just to where it's flush against this ridge on the inside here, and that's it. So you're going to do that with all of them. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping in again and watching this episode of Tech Talk. I hope you found this video to be informative and helpful. If you have comments, put them in the comments box below if there's something you'd like to see. Um, or just tell me how you think I'm doing. I can handle criticism too, no big deal. Um, like, share, and subscribe to the page. That little subscribe button down there, go ahead and hit that. That'd be great. Just do that right there. Right yeah, right now. Go ahead and do that. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I will include links in the description box below. Thanks again for stopping in. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we got more stuff coming. So stay tuned. You guys are great. Take care. I'll see you on the next video.